What is up guys, welcome to another live on Showdown. Today we are going to be trying yet another new tier. We are jumping into PU today. I have no experience in this tier. Luckily enough though, our friend from the NBA um, and YouTube and everywhere, basically at this point, Dom, Dom's Game Room. Again, link will be in the description down below. Check him out. Uh, the man who made this background, this lovely Showdown background for us, but he was kind enough to pass us a team for this tier. Now, I looked over the team a little bit. Uh, it is extremely powerful uh, from what I can see. You've got a uh, Choice Banded Basculin down here. Uh, Semiseer is really nice for taking out things like Avalug that Ursaring couldn't otherwise deal with uh, outside of close combat, but even that, I mean, you're without the... Um, the guts boost because this thing is quick feed of course uh, you're not going to be taking out avalug anytime soon so uh so it's a really cool team though i really like it uh, i don't know what the plus speed nature uh, the jolly nature is to out speed uh to be perfectly honest but uh, i'm pretty sure it could function well without it let's just see really quickly uh 209 goes to 418 that is pretty damn fast uh, maybe it's to outspeed the likes of uh, Electrode. Uh, his Electrode set actually does not have any EVs. Let me just check this out for a second, guys. I'm going to pause and come right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I pretty much assumed that it was supposed to be a special attacker just from the moves. So I gave it a uh, Timid Nature right here. 416 is very, very fast. Uh, in fact, um, Ursaring does still outspeed Electrode. Uh, that is Timid with... Um, without the jolly nature so i think i'm gonna leave it adamant to be able to hit uh things like avalug a lot harder things like armaldo i have to leave you to it ko it no problem uh with facade if uh if this thing is adamant so uh, we're gonna leave it this way we're gonna see if it works better that way um we have a jolly choice banded basculin as you said before uh evia like tangla which is really nice for soaking up hits get some sleep powders off sleep some stuff uh this thing is not nasty plot but gunk shot is kind of nice to be able to hit clefairy and things like that and uh, Stunfisk is our rock setter, also a nice toxic Pokemon right here. So, good status across the team, good offense, I like it, I like it. Uh, let's try it out. There are quite a few pe people playing PU, actually, and we're right at the bottom of the ladder, so hopefully there's some pretty good players down here. We'll see, though. Uh, Ponyard is actually still in this tier, which surprises me because this thing is an absolute monster. Um, I think I'm just going to lead here with uh, Stunfisk is pretty solid. He does have a Frogadier, though, so... Alternatively, Electrode might be better. We are hitting Power Water for Camerupt, which is nice. Very good call. Uh, I am just going to lead with Electrode right here, as uh, we can just go for a Hidden Power Water on this Camerupt. We are Life Orb, uh, and we should be able to Oko this thing with a Life Orb Hidden Power Water. Its defenses aren't the best. Uh, unless, of course, it's Sash. That's a possibility, but uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. I do outspeed his whole team outside of Scarfers, so I will be able to Volt Switch right out afterwards. If he wants to go back into camera, we can play this game all day. I'll eventually predict him, but I'm just going to start the timer on my opponent. I'm going to get off this in Power Water. That did nothing. I was expecting that to do a lot more, but uh, it is a 2 hit KO uh, from what I can see. So I am just going to throw out another one right here. He's going to protect, and uh, I kind of don't want to stay in on an Earth Power right here, but I don't have a very good switch. So I just want to weaken this thing. Uh, I don't really need Electrode. It is one thing that's not speeding Frogadier, but I mean... I'm sure I can find another check for it. We'll find out, though. Um, and Power Water is going to leave this thing at 9%. He's probably going to go for an Earth Power right here and knock us out, as he does. We did weaken the camera up, though, so that's very nice. I am just probably going to go into Ursaring here just to get my uh, Toxic Orb off. Uh, we're Swords Dance as well. Wow, okay. This thing demolishes everything on my opponent's team with a Swords Dance up. I'm just going to go for Facade, though. I don't expect him to protect right here. I kind of expect him to just swap. Uh, which would be probably be his best play. Facade is going to do uh, nothing to Ponyard right now. Uh, it'll still do a good amount, but um, we're not Toxic boosted, so it's base 70. Uh, we are going to get this camera up out of the way and get our Toxic Orb right there. We are Quick Feed as well. So, uh, oh, this only goes to plus... Oh, that's probably why. Quick Feed doesn't double your speed. Yeah, I'm fixing that up right away. Sorry about that, guys. We'll fix that. I <laughs> probably should have looked that up. You see, this is what happens when you have no experience in tiers. You just uh, you just don't know abilities like Quick Feet. But uh, 313, 313 speed is still very, very good. I'm sure it outspeeds Fracture and Rotom Frost. Uh, definitely Rotom Frost. We know that thing hits 298. I don't think it outspeeds Frogadier. We'll have to see when it comes out. But uh, we are an adamant facading Ursaring right now. So it's looking pretty good. Opponent chooses to go into Fracture. Uh, which is kind of surprising, unless this thing is, of course, Scarfed, which is possible. I kind of just want to switch into Tangela right here. 
uh, just to be safe as my opponent goes for the low kick. Yeah, so that kind of confirms that he's scarfed. I kind of just want to throw out a Hidden Power Fire predicting the Roselia, but I know it's not going to do anything. So, uh, let's go for the... I'm going to double here, I think, into Semisir, as he should not stay in on this Tangela. And low kick isn't going to do that much to Semisir anyway, so he's looking pretty good. Choice Scar Fracture, very nice. I like it. Um, I don't know if we would have outsped if we were uh, Jolly, but uh, we are going to pull the switch into Semisir right here. And we are just going to throw out a Fire Blast. We should be faster than Frogadier as well. This thing is actually really, really fast. Uh, we should outspeed it by a couple of points. We'll see when it comes out. Goes into Fracture, though, as uh, we get off a Fire Blast. No, we don't. Okay, that sucks, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. I will just go back into Tangela on what I'm presuming to be an Earthquake. Uh, I'm taking Rocks damage for no reason right now, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Uh, Earthring still sweeps up this game once this Fracture is gone. And uh, as long as Frogadier doesn't have a Sash nor Ponyard, which they shouldn't, they should be carrying Eviolite, but we'll see. We'll see when that comes. Uh, I'm going to switch into Tangela right here as my opponent chooses to go for a Dragon Dance. Okay, so he's not Scarfed. Um, I'm just going to sleep this as he goes for Poison Jab. That's not going to be able to knock us out, obviously. We are going to get this Sleep Powder off. And uh, now I'm going to swap probably into Ursaring, uh, I think is my best play. Uh, as he switches out into Roselia, which is great, as we will be able to get off a very free facade right here. And, uh, probably be able to knock this Roselia out, actually, even with its Eviolite. light. We'll see. I was wrong about camera up, so I could be wrong about this as well. Uh, I might switch Electrode also over to Modest. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm curious to see what Dom has as his set. You guys are gonna see my Skype chat right now. Uh, he doesn't mention a, uh, nature. I think he messed up on the set and he didn't have it finished. Something like that, but I'm going to change it. Uh, Roselia goes straight down, so that's great. And uh, now we know that Fracture is not Scarfed as well, so that's also great. Uh, we should be able to knock out his entire team from this point on. Just with Ursaring, we will see though. Uh, Choice Scarf Rotom Frost is a thing. Ponyard decides to come in. It's probably just going to Sucker Punch me here. Uh, I'm going to swap into Stunfisk on what I'm assuming to be a Sucker Punch. As he does go for it, there we go. And now I can just get up my rocks. I'm not afraid of this thing. Uh, swords dancing up or anything. We are 247 defense, 422 HP, which is amazing. That is so good. Uh, so strong. He goes into Rotom Frost right here. Uh, we are probably not going to die to a Blizzard unless he specs. But if he is, I get to go into Ursaring afterwards. So that's okay. I'm just going to throw off a Toxic right here as my opponent actually goes for a sub. Okay, that's kind of scary. Um, can I even knock this thing sub out? I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, I definitely can't. Well, I kind of just have to stay in here as he blizzards and misses. That's unfortunate. Uh, we hit the discharge. It's probably going to two-hit KO the sub, I would assume. Uh, we don't have the best special attack, but um, we should be able to break the sub here. He's Life Orb. Good information. We do break the sub. Uh, I am just going to go for another discharge right here as uh, he goes for another substitute. He's just losing HP at this point. I don't have an Infiltrator Mon, unfortunately. I don't know if there are even any in this tier. I'm just going to Discharge again. He lands the Blizzard, and he's down to 31%. Uh, not sure if he has anything to hit Semisir, but I feel like it is the most expendable member at this point. So we can go into that and break the sub and follow it up with an Aqua Jet after. Uh, or even a Waterfall. Got to think about what my best play is. Maybe Superpower to keep Ponyard from coming in. Might be the play. Um, yeah, Semisir is going to be my play right here. I'm just going to uh, break this sub with my most accurate move, which doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> just going to go for Fire Blast right here just to just to break this. I don't know if his Thunderbolt is actually going to be able to break uh, to take us out because we are Assault Vested. So we should be good to go. If he swaps out this Rotom, then it pretty much goes down uh, to Rocks plus Life Orb next time. So I uh, wouldn't swap out right here. We actually miss another Fire Blast, so that's unfortunately uh, unfortunate. He goes for a Thunderbolt and gets a crit, so... Uh, not looking too good for us. I'm just going to hit Basculin at this point. I don't have another play. And I'm going to go for the uh, I think the Jet to break the sub. Yeah, let's go for the Jet. We'll break it. And uh, he's going to hit us up with the Thunderbolt and knock us out. Now we have to go into Ursaring right here. Uh, sad face from my opponent. Well, there's nothing you could do about that. I mean, it's not his fault, but uh, it is unfortunate. I'm just going to throw off a Facade. It's my best move to hit everything with, so... That's going to go down, and um, yeah, this is uh, looking pretty much over. I do have to swap out if his Ponyard comes in. I can't stay in on Sucker Punches. I got I to 
I gotta try to outplay them. And as Ponyar does come in, and I have to switch directly into Tangela, I do not have a choice. As he goes for the Sucker, he can't risk it either. And at this point, I think I'm just going to Giga Drain, maybe? Um, and Power Fire is actually my play. Try to try to knock this thing out. He goes for the knockoff. I don't think the next one takes us out, actually. We're at 29. We actually get a crit on that Hidden Power Fire. That's amazing, because now we can knock out the remainder of his Pokemon with our Ursaring. Barring this thing being Scarfed, of course. I think we outspeed this, don't we? Uh, maybe not, actually. I'd have to try to Giga Drain here. He does go for the Ice Beam. Uh, he is Life Orb, but I do not think we outspeed him. No, we do not, because we're not the right nature. So, lesson to you guys right there. Be the right nature. <laughs> Unless, of course, this thing is modest, which is a possibility, but I very much doubt it. I don't know why you wouldn't run Timid Frogadier. I don't see what it does, but... Um, we gotta pray. We gotta just cross our fingers and hope uh, that doesn't come through and we get knocked out. So that's gonna be the first game in PU. Unfortunately, take a loss on that one. Uh, a couple of unfortunate misses right there. We could have definitely done a little bit better had we not been missing. Uh, we actually have a pretty good matchup uh, right here against my opponent's team. Uh, Metatite is a little bit scary, uh, but I think Stunfisk is just overall my best lead against the majority of his team. Takes on the uh, Mightyena, the Metatite, which is kind of what I wanted to take on. I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. As he goes for a Substitute, that's fine. I'm just going to Earth Power this thing. He can do whatever he wants. Bulk up. Uh, I don't really care. He has a chance of getting static as well. He's going to Baton Pass this, actually. And into what? I guess Semisage would be the, the play? Yeah. There it is. And we break this up with the Earth Power without a crit. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, good job, Stunfisk. Which means... Um, what do I switch into here? Let's see. Um, Semiseer takes this thing on pretty well. Monkey Brothers! Leaf Storm, we are Assault Vested, he crits us. That doesn't matter though, because we take it just fine. I feel like Focus Blasting right here, predicting the Relicant to want to come in, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, we're Focus Punch. Alright, well that's even better. <laughs> going to hit the Auto No right here for 70%. This thing does have Regenerator, so I have to go for the Fire Blast right here. And uh, we'll be able to hit anything incoming. Um, yeah, that crit kind of did suck, though. We are weakened. I don't like that. We do have rocks up, though, so we should be okay to... We should be good to, to go at this point, I think. Uh, Semisage is at 88% as well, which is nice. I'm just gonna throw off a Fire Blast right here. That Focus Punch did a lot. He goes for Protect. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another Fire Blast right here. No reason not to. We have the Grass Knot for the Relicanth. And we have the, um... Well, the nothing for anything else. Uh, he goes into Relicant right here. We're going to Fire Blast this thing, do a little bit of damage. I'm just going to Grass Knot because this thing is extremely heavy. Uh, from memory, I believe. <laughs> it should be. Uh, Grass Knot should be able to take it out from this range. I don't know if he's going to predict me having it. He does, and he goes back into Semisage, which is a good play. Uh, we are just going to get off that Grass Knot. I'm just going to go for Fire Blast again. We're max speed, which is nice. He misses the Focus Blast, which is unfortunate. We land the Fire Blast and knock out his Semisage. So there goes that. That was actually a pretty big threat to the team, uh, just because of its coverage. My opponent chooses to go into Autono. I'm going to take this as an opportunity to switch into Ursaring, I think, uh, is my play. Yeah, I'm going to go directly into Ursaring right here. As my opponent goes for a double edge, which is quite surprising, we are going to get our Toxic Orb right here, and we will be able to just facade, I think, um, on the Protect, and then knock something out. I think I'll go for Close Combat after. Um, as my opponent chooses to switch directly into Relicanth on a potential close combat, which I will go for right here. I have no reason not to, and, uh, just knock this thing out, I think. We're not Guts, but, uh, should be able to. Well, that facade only did 21. Maybe not. Yeah, that's not enough to take him out, actually, as he's gonna go for the Stealth Rocks. And now I can facade again if I choose to. Uh, which I will. Facade should be able to take this thing out. Last roll was 21%. So we should be good to go, and anything coming in is going to get destroyed. So, uh, it's looking pretty good. I can see him going into uh, Solosis right here. So he actually chooses to just stay in and let uh, let his Relicanth go down, which is a good play. Uh, we still have uh, all six Mons, so this is looking pretty solid. I just need to keep, I think, Basculin alive. Um, my opponent chooses to go into Mightyena. Sucker Punch is on the way, so we can switch into what? Stunfisk. Yeah, Stunfisk is pretty solid. Um, we still have a couple of uh, poison rounds, so uh, this is uh, just overall the best play, I think. As uh, now I'm going to throw off a Toxic on something, I think. 
is the best play. The Solosis obviously has Magic Guard, so it will take it. Uh, it's actually Duosion, sorry. My bad. Um, <laughs> it's not uh, It's not Solosis. Uh, he does take that fine because he has Magic Guard. And now what I'm going to do is go for the Earth Power, I think, is fine. So try to lower this thing's special defenses. He goes for a Calm Mind. Um, that's kind of scary, but I can go into Basculin here and threaten this thing with a Crunch as he goes for the Acid Armor. Okay. Yep, gotta learn some sets in this tier. Gonna go for the Crunch. It's gonna do 24%. We're not gonna get the, uh, the defense drop, unfortunately. I'm gonna go for it again and try to get some drops. That's all I can really do. This thing can set up all over me. What, did it, what is it gonna hit me with? Stored Power? Uh, as he goes for Calm Mind again. Just gonna keep crunching. Try to get those drops. Maybe a crit. Who knows? Uh, crit would do not enough from this range, I don't think. He goes for recovery. He's playing it safe. He's gonna crunch again. And uh, we're gonna try to, to whittle this thing down. We'll see, though. As he goes for a Psy Shock now. So that is gonna take us out. Alright, what can I do to this thing? I unfortunately toxic it, so <laughs> I can't do too much. Uh, Basculin's Crunch, I don't think, is as strong as Earthstring's Facade on this thing. Probably not. What's the hardest thing I have to hit this thing with? You know what? I'm going to try to confuse it. Let's go for the Signal Beam. Let's try to play some hacks here. Uh, now I know that this thing uh, normally runs Acid Armor. I guess. I don't know. Maybe this is just this guy's set. Go for a Life Orb uh, Signal Beam right there as he goes for Calm Mind. I just need to get the Confusion, please. Please give me the Confusion. As we do not get it. And he goes for Recover. And I have to go for Signal Beam again. And... Uh, if we don't get the confusion right here, we're pretty much done. As he goes for a recover again. Okay, that's very greedy because if I get the confusion into crit at any time... Um, yeah, no, that's not going to happen apparently. Uh, what is Signal Beam's chance to confuse? I don't even know. Uh, let's go... Let's go nothing. I got to go Earth Ring. I got to just facade this thing and hope to get a crit through the Acid Armor. That's my only hope at winning. I got to try. Uh, we got two shots at this. That does not take him out. We got a crit right here. Right now. <laughs> this is our only chance. And we do not. So that's going to be a good game. And I'm just going to forfeit that. Not going to waste any more time. going to hop into another one right here. Obviously, these people know this tier a little bit better than I do. Okay, I see a Bibril and I see a, um, a uh, Swoobat. So I'm very scared. Let's see. What can we do? I'm going to lead with... Um, I'm actually going to lead Baskin in this game because it handles the Aridos. I can go for a Waterfall and just nuke this thing. If he's uh, if he's not focused Sash, then this goes off and uh, we're pretty much good to go. Alternatively, I could have led with, uh, with Earth Ring and just gone for a Swords Dance and then just annihilated his entire team, but I didn't feel like that was the correct play. He's also got a potential Sash on the Beautifly, so if I flinch this thing right here, then uh, we're good to go. But... Um, We'll see what happens. This is Choice Banded, Waterfall. Why are you Rockhead? What other abilities do you get? Um, adaptab- Wait, what? Why is this thing not Adaptability? What does Rockhead do? Hold on a second. This is wrong. This is all wrong. And wait, this thing gets Mold Breaker too. I would have been able to break this through Sturdies. This thing is amazing. Why is Basculin not higher? <laughs> it's so strong. It's actually really fast too. 324? That's really fast for these lower tiers. This thing is a threat. Alright, I'm gonna start the timer on this guy. Hopefully he uh, picks up the pace right here. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm gonna pause it guys and I'll, uh, I'll come back when he makes a move. Alright guys, so... <laughs> no way. Uh, he decided to stay in and we got the flinch with the waterfall, which is pretty crazy. We're able to knock out the Ariados, so webs are off for good. And nothing really wants to come in on this except maybe a barrel. He actually chooses to go into Swoobat, which is interesting. I'm just going to Waterfall again as he goes for a Calm Mind. He gets the plus two, plus two. Uh, just going to get off this huge Waterfall right here. And what I'm going to do is actually switch into Simiseer here because we should be able to take any special move barring Psy Shock. He goes for the Sword Power. Never mind. Gets a crit and knocks us out. Okay. So, um, <laughs> uh, Electrode outspeeds and it should be able to take this thing out with a Volt Switch. Uh, shouldn't have any problem. He also does not have a ground type, so I'm just going to Volt here. Uh, Life Orb, Volt Switch, 283 Special Attack. Yeah, even with a plus 2 Special Defense, should, we should be good to go. Um, as we do knock it out, there we go. And now I can go into... Uh, I think... 
How do I prevent his Servine from getting a Leaf Storm off for free? I think I just go... Yeah, I have to go Ursaring here, actually. I don't have another play. We actually get the Toxic Orb on turn one, which is nice because we're immediately quick feet. 343 speed, that would have outsped in game one. He actually chooses to go to, into uh, the barrel. I'm going to Swords Dance right here as my opponent goes for the Curse and um, gets the plus two, plus two. We're going to start uh, facading this thing, I think. No, Close Combat is the play. Uh, he goes for a quick attack that does a lot. Going to get off this Close Combat. Crit him, knock him out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that was unfortunate for him. I'm expecting a Sash Beautiful Eye in the back with Quiver Dance. As he goes into it, there we go. I'm not going to play around with this thing, I'm just going to Facade. If he wants the Quiver, that's fine. He is Sash indeed, as uh, he goes for the Air Cutter to knock us out, okay. And now, uh, without the boost, that means I can go into Electrode and just go for the... Uh, I think the Thunderbolt is the correct play to stay in here, actually. Yeah, there we go. And now we can Signal Beam the Hypno and the Servine, which is nice. Servine should take a lot from a Signal Beam. It's Life Orb, so uh, he chooses to go directly into it. We shouldn't die to a Leaf Storm, I don't think, unless he Specs. So that does 49%, which is nice, which means if we, li if we live, he's Hidden Power Ground, okay. I'm just gonna go for another Signal Beam that puts him in range of uh, Choice Banded Aqua Jet, and we should have this game. So I'm gonna tally this one up right away. Um, unless he switches into Hypno, in which case we're in a little bit of a predicament. Um, because I know Hypno's special defense is a lot better. So, um, what would I do in that case? I guess I would just Volt Switch. Hypno doesn't get hazards. So I'd probably Volt Switch out into, uh, into Basculin, because we know we're faster than this thing. And maybe just fire off a couple of crunches. That could work. But he stays in with Servine, luckily enough, uh, and goes for the Leaf Storm. Gets the plus two special attack. We already know we're faster because if he was scarfed, he would have outsped us. So uh, let's go into uh, Basculin. We also saw him switch up moves, so that's good. Just gonna go for a crunch right here. It's gonna knock out this Servine. It's also gonna be a super effective move to hit the Hypno with, and uh, that should be good to go. Uh, why? Okay, wait, this is still the same game, right? Yeah, we just switched this thing's ability. Uh, gonna go for another crunch right here. It's gonna do 75% of this thing as he has a Citrus Berry. He goes for a Shadow Ball that is not gonna knock us out. And we're gonna get off another crunch, and we're gonna pick up our first win in PU! Yay! Uh, if you, don't, you guys don't know, PU stands for Partially Used. It's the tier right below NU. And it has uh, pretty much everything that wasn't good enough for NU in here, so... Um, Basculin was at one time in NU, I believe, and it was actually a pretty big threat, so... That's gonna be that game, and, uh, we're gonna get another one. You know what? I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm gonna go 2-2. Two and two. I'm not, uh, I'm not just finishing this off with, uh, with a 1-2 and two record. My opponent has probably the most threatening team I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, man, Rampardos? No! You can't just have that. Um, what does Rampardos die to? Uh, I'm gonna lead with, um, no, you know what? That Chatot is way too much of a threat. I have to lead with Electros. As my opponent leads with Armaldo, so good lead on his part. Uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch out of here. Get the heck out. And uh, maybe go into... Ursaring? Maybe? Hmm. Um, having no hazard removal really sucks. But I should be able to go out into Basculin right here. He doesn't have a good uh, water resist on his team. So I'm just going to throw out this uh, Choice Banded Waterfall, Adaptability Boosted. So that's easily going to take out Armoldo. Take out like five Armoldos right there. And uh, now Ampharos can come in, which is really annoying. Um, but I don't think Ampharos can actually hit Stunfisk. I'm not sure though. We'll see. It's probably carrying like Toxic or something. Light Ball, uh, Pikachu. We have probably Choice Specs Chatot or something like that. Um, Rampardos is always a threat. Ampharos does come in. I'm actually curious. Let's see if we can run a calc on this. I want to know how much a, um, a support Ampharos in PU takes from uh, from this hit. Ampharos, like I'm obviously not staying in, but this is for later. Uh, UU, no, that's not it. Um, where's PU? PU Cleric, which actually typically does not run uh, physically defensive. So let's see how much Basculin's um, Waterfall, Adaptability, Choice Banded, Choice, band, waterfall does 62 to 73. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna swap into Stunfisk right here because it's my safest play. 
uh, on his Thunderbolt. We eat that up, obviously, because we are ground type. And I'm just going to get up my rocks right here. Rocks are really, really going to help against the Chadot, uh, against this Ampharos to weaken it for Basculin to sweep as well. So I'm pretty sure Pikachu takes this a lot worse. Uh, Pikachu blanks that, let's say it has no HP, no... Yeah, yeah, it dies. It's gone. 35 HP, 40 defense, it is gone. My opponent goes for a power gem, that's also not very effective. I guess he just wants me to earth power him. Uh, I'm just gonna toxic here, actually. Opponent goes for a signal beam, that's also not doing a lot, as we miss a toxic, so maybe I should stop playing around with this thing, because he obviously does, just wants to stay in. No, I'm just gonna toxic again, that's fine. I'd rather wear this thing down through toxics. Because uh, if he does switch, then I get a Toxic off on a potential Ditto that comes in as a Stun Fisk. I get one off on a Rampardos to uh, to weaken it. Uh, Chatot does come in on the Toxic. There we go. And uh, Boom Burst is a thing. Boom Burst is probably coming my way right now. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it, guys. I just have to stay in and discharge and hope that we live. I'm pretty sure we do. Um, yeah, that, that did nothing. <laughs> okay, so bye-bye Chatot. And, um, I'm assuming Rampardos is going to come into Earthquake me. Pikachu actually comes in. Okay, interesting. What does Pikachu normally carry? Well, I can't even check. Um, let's just Earth Power. Goes for a knockoff. He's going to get rid of our leftovers. Earth Power is going to be able to knock him out right here. And, uh, now all he has left is, uh, three Pokemon that are weak to ground. <laughs> so, Ampharos does come in. We already know that it can't take us out with a Signal Beam, I don't believe. Uh, Signal Beam did 19 last time, so I am just going to Earth Power this time. As he does 17 this time around, does not get the confusion, and we are going to lower this thing to a point where Basculin's Waterfall will be able to take it out, even if he is physically defensive. We are just going to Earth Power again, I lose nothing, and I'm going to go straight into Basculin. We're going to try to pick up uh, the win with this thing. This little fish right here, love this thing, man. It's so strong. Look at that, adaptability. What a great ability. I love it. Might try it out in um, in Enchanted Items, See uh, see how well I can... Maybe, maybe like a speed boost ad adaptability crawdont would be cool. That sounds really strong. Actually, some people used that against me on the ladder yesterday, so. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can just sweep up this game with Basculin. Obviously, we can't because of the ditto, but, like, if I come back in and, like, fire off two superpowers, I should be good to go. So. Um, do I even have a resist to my opponent's potential Basculin? I think he gets my ability as well, which is kind of scary. You go just sack Tangela. Actually, you can't touch Tangela. Even uh, even adaptability. Like the only thing that gets boosted by that is waterfall. So um, Tangela should be good to go. And then just Giga Drain whatever. Either the uh, the Ditto itself or the Rampardos should be able to knock it out. And uh, yeah, it's looking like Basculin's just gonna sweep afterwards. Don't really want to get it with Ursa Ring. Uh, I might get one more game after this, guys. Not sure. I might want to. <laughs> gonna get greedy and go. Uh, Go two and two. Um, this screams scarf. This really screams scarf to me. Let's go into Tangela. We're physically defensive. We should be able to take a head smash as he goes for it. Uh, that did way too much. What am I sacking? Uh, let me actually calc that. Tangela. Uh, PU defensive Max defense. We're not max defense at all. Are we? Nope uh, 266 so where is our investment? 318 327 special attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not defensive at all uh, Take that out of there Wait, how much what? 266 we're a minus defense nature too. Oh, no wait. Hold on a second. All right. That makes more sense um, We also don't have don't have the HP investment we're at 318. Uh, we have a little bit. We have like 160, I think. Uh, close to that. Like 184. Yeah, something like that. Uh, from a Rampardos. Curious to see. PU Wall Breaker. Uh, Life Orb usually. Did we see Life Orb Recoil? We did not. But we saw him take the recoil from the Head Smash itself. Which is good. How much did we actually take from that? We took 58. So, okay, hold on a second. Um, not rock slide, give me head smash. Head smash. 71 to 83, so it's definitely not life orb. It's also not choice banded. Yeah, that's about right. So it's just, uh, it's probably scarfed, like I said. 
It's uh, it's more than likely scarfed. Scarfed adamant. Uh, looks like yeah, probably a positive attack nature. All right. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna swap into Semisir. Gain some regenerator. As he goes for another head smash, I'm gonna sack Semis here because it does nothing. I'm gonna go back into Tangela, and I'm gonna swap into Electrode to give him the aftermath so that he dies here. And uh, that's gonna be the end of his Rampardos right there. He actually just dies to the recoil, which is good. And now we are going to make his um, Ditto into a Basculin. And we're gonna go switch into Tangela, I think. Actually, wouldn't I want this thing to just superpower me first? Ursa Ring doesn't do anything, so I'm just gonna go into that. And, uh... Actually, we're, we're offensive Tangela, so I prob probably should have just brought that in and let him, like, Leaf Storm me or Hidden Power Fire. Yeah, because that thing couldn't have hit everything on my team. This thing actually can. I'm just gonna go Ursa Ring right here because if he goes for superpower, uh, then I really go into Tangela and then just Giga Drain him and, and win. I needed to keep Tangela around for this thing specifically, so that should be game. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get another one. We're at 31 minutes, actually, yeah, so I'm not going to get another one. We took some time calcing right there and uh, found out that his Rampardos was more than likely Scarfed. I probably should have just gone into Electrode the first time. It would have probably gone down to the um, to the recoil. I could have brought back in Basculin and just Aqua Jetted as well, so uh, that would have probably been the best play. But uh, my opponent is taking some time thinking about his move. Uh, not sure why, uh, this, wait, wait a minute, why is the battle timer now on? Um, it was always on, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, anyway, so, uh, that's gonna be, uh, the game. I'm just gonna actually pause it until my opponent decides to make a move, guys, because I don't want you guys to just sit here and watch uh, a couple of Basculin dance on the screen. Be right back. Alright, guys, so my opponent decided to just leave and, uh, never came back. Obviously, I made the room hidden, as you can see right here, but, uh, we are able to take that win right there. And, uh, it was a pretty fun live. I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely gonna have to get a little bit better at PU, but, uh, I think Eric actually also sent me a team. Gonna have to check that out. Uh, it's a pretty cool tier. I really like it. Uh, there's a lot of cool Pokemon that you don't usually see used. Uh, I'm, so, I'm really, really surprised that Earth is all the way down here. I guess it's just a little bit underwhelming because of the fact that it has to weaken itself to, and immensely at that, uh, to be able to do anything to anything. So, there is that. But, uh, guys, if again, if you enjoyed, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you thought of the team. If you want to see me play any other tiers other than the ones we usually cover and this one. Uh, and, of course, uh, hit up my Twitter, my Facebook, always in the description down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. If you want to see more of these lives, I put out about four to five every week. There's also the league matches on Saturdays and Sundays between the team builder and the match itself. So uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. And uh, I think I think we're gonna get pretty good at this uh, tier. That's just a theory, though. A game theory. <laughs> I had to do that for Colton, guys. Thanks again for watching. Catch you later. Ciao.